Have you ever wondered what your neighbor is doing right now? What your friends are doing right now? What strangers across the world are doing right now? Looking at you, Ethan, you have my undivided attention. Hi, divide your attention a little bit. Um. <laughs> What are we all doing on the same one day? It's 5 a.m. So my name is Noreen, I am from Cairo, Egypt, and I am currently in Seoul, South Korea, where I'm having my spring semester of the first year. <laughs> My day starts with sunrise, uh, which is the first prayer. Um, it's called the Fajr. So you start with praying, and it's it's the smallest one. It takes like one minute. Okay, it's ten thirty. Church starts at eleven. It's like ten minutes away, so it's not far. I just I'm being so tired. But I really want to go to church, so I'm going to get up now and start getting ready. So I just finally decided to wake up. Um, I've been getting up and then going back to sleep since like 8 and Stephanie is already in my room. So, this is one day in my life as a Minerva student. Hana, can you give me four things you're excited for today? Four things I'm excited for? Yes. Okay, so I'm excited for um, actually doing my assignment because mm -hmm. I actually figured out that I like the topic. I am excited for the fact that it's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited for the Ramadan to know one today, mm -hmm. and I'm excited to go to a bar in the evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What are you excited for? Oh, I always hate asking questions because then other people spring the questions back on me. I'm excited because I don't have any work to do today. Okay, I'm jealous. <laughs> Julia! Yay! Julia! 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 Hi, I'm Tonga Shea Julia now. Uh, most people here call me Julia because it's easier to pronounce, but Taonga She is my um, favorite name. It's Shona. I was born in Zimbabwe, and Shona is the language you speak in Zimbabwe, and my name means we thank you, Lord. I'm from South Africa now. I moved there when I was three years old, and now I'm pretty much from everywhere in the world traveling around at this crazy school. Okay, hey guys, I'm outside now. I'm going to church. I'm with Praise. Hi, Praise. Hi. And this is the, where we wait for the bus. And yeah, we're gonna either pay cash or without team money cards to get in the bus. Can you tell me one reason to be excited today? What do you be excited that the sun is shining and God is good? Woo! Yay! Hallelujah! Usually, as soon as I wake up, I love to have some cereals, oats, and milk, and coffee. Um, but since tomorrow is Ramadan, I won't have breakfast anymore, so I'm filming it today. So basically Ramadan is a um, whole month um, that m Muslims celebrate and they fast the whole month from sunrise to sunset. I'm in Ramsha's room for breakfast! But she's not eating breakfast! So I'm fasting apparently! It has so many values as we spoke in the 1001. Uh, one of the main values is that we kind of experience what others go through who do not have the means to have food or have clothes or have you know some of the very basic stuff that we have so we we tend to appreciate these little things um in this month so we do not have food we do not have um even water uh from sunrise to sunset and then when sunset came and we have our breakfast uh we start to appreciate those little things because we haven't we, we haven't been able to have them throughout the day. Um, so yeah, that's basically Ramadan. Islam has a lot of like similarities to Christianity and it's a beautiful 
um, kind of like religions, like a lot of dedication, a lot of intentionality. Um, so it was really cool to hear and learn. So now we're in the bus on our way. It's pretty close by, but we're late, so we're taking the bus. I don't even know if they're gonna include our sound in this video. I'm Ramsha. I'm from Karachi, Pakistan, which is a big city. Many of people think of Islam or Muslims. There's a lot of extremism that comes along with it. And I think people should just understand that like all cultures, you know, all, all religions, there's different shades of people. I think just understand that instead of just putting the whole religion in just one viewpoint. So my name is Turgo and I'm from Mongolia. I'm a freshman student. I actually try to cook every day because I want to be financially responsible and going out eating is expensive. I'm not good at cooking, so I just cook what I can, which is rice and whatever I have in my fridge and mix it and that's it. It's lunchtime. It's lunchtime. We're waiting for our lunch. <laughs> Aida, what are you cooking? I'm making some tofu and vegetables and hopefully this food will last me for at least three days. I have two brothers and every person has to cook on their scheduled day in my family. That's when I kind of started forming that habit, like it was the easiest option. Minerva usually had just one res hall in Seoul but now the number of people have exceeded and they also needed a few extra rooms for quarantine in case anything happened. So they created another rest hall, which was about 40 minutes away from the first one and put some of like about 14 students here. And I happen to be one of those students. Um, it's, it's much fancier, the second rest hall, but you also kind of get cut off from the Minerva community, which is a part of being, like that's the whole essence of being a Minervan is the community. One thing about living in the second res is it gets quite lonely. I'm not going to lie to you. I, there's a lot of times where I'm on my phone just like hoping someone will text me or that I could like, I don't know, have a conversation with someone. It's kind of strugglesome. And also being in Korea 13 hours away in time zone from your family means that if I want to call my parents, be like, oh, they're still asleep. But one thing that's helping me um, deal with being alone a lot is playing music. But I also enjoyed it more. It gave me more time to kind of think about who I want to be. Like they had, you know, a lot of facilities here like the gym and the yoga room. And I kind of was taking care of myself more and introspecting more rather than thinking about the external world more. So it, had a positive influence in that sense. Hello, I'm Lucille, and today I'm at a climbing gym in Seoul. I'm on the ninth floor of the building, and we've got all of this fun stuff to climb on, so here's some videos of me and Demitar and Gabriel getting after it. Enjoy! We just got some nail polish things. Yeah, and we're gonna do it in a cafe and we're gonna steal the napkins. Well, so, how often do you do your nails? I don't do my nails. My mom, she scared me into not doing my nail. Well, not anymore. I'm seeking discomfort. It's us and our against, jazz music against the, the word. word. <laughs> the word. My name is Amos. I am from Boston, Massachusetts. Well, not exactly from Boston, but we can pretend I'm from Boston. And that's my life. That your whole life is Boston? No. On April 3rd, I woke up at a reasonable time, went for a nice run in Itaewon, and as I was running, I saw the Argentinian ambassador's house because it said, La Casa del, del, del Ambassador de Argentina. <laughs> <laughs> and ran back to the Reds. And then I decide, well, since I've been to the roof and I've never been to the roof before, why don't I go downstairs? And so I go downstairs. Did you know our res hall has a basement? Let's check it out.
and there's like a whole maze of hallways that are like similar to our configuration of hallways, but they don't have a giant bathroom at the end of the hall, which kind of freaked me out. It's just like closed Check doors. Out. Some of the doors have are glass doors, and I peek inside one of them, and there's just a massive bank of GPUs with like flashing lights, and there's a fan, but it's not spinning. There's like a room full of GPUs, and I'm pretty sure it's a Bitcoin mining operation. And it kind of freaks me out. It's like, why is this in our basement? Who is making money off of our le electricity? Um, I think Han is leading a double life. It's in English, yes, it has to be in English. April 3rd was a very boring day for me because I didn't do anything and I didn't even go out. I would usually like go grocery shopping or like do basic stuff at least. But that day I didn't do anything besides assignments and work study. <laughs> taking a break because my back hurts and I'm just tired so like in few minutes I'll start to work again but let me enjoy a few minutes butter ice cream <laughs> oh, I really don't like this. I I'm gonna eat like it. This. It's okay. I think it's like. It gets it, better after each lick. I think it reminds me of cheap vanilla ice cream. Kind of coats your whole mouth. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Very buttery flavor. Yeah. Yeah. It, it does taste like you're eating butter, like yeah. a stick of butter. My roommates were like, "We're going go. We're gonna go biking." I was like, "Okay." We're gonna go biking. Mm -hmm. And so we took a bus to the river, the Han River, and instead of biking, we actually just laid down, surrounded by all of these tree blossom trees, and just laid there on the grass with Korean people staring at us and talked about life um, and our favorite memories in Seoul. So we're trying to find favorite places in Seoul, which was actually pretty hard because I feel like I'm trying to explore more places rather than just like pick a new one like pick a pick the best one. it's not their fault dinner one is a gathering of all the minerva students it's typically has a team usually it's a cultural team a country or it could be a religious team or a, a diet dietary team it's a culture <laughs> and usually people who belong to that culture or are, are aware of it usually stand up and talk to the people, present some food or some other delicacies and just talk about their culture and give it, the other Minervans a better view of it. Um, how did you prepare for the ground on Tano one? Oh, so we have, like, we have prepared the food, which is the most fun part of any Tano one. Uh, we made something called samosa and we, we were actually surprised because it's existing in so many countries. So I'm from Egypt, it's in Pakistan, it's in India. Hello, so this is nearly 6 p.m. and we are preparing for the Tenno One food. And Ramadan, first of Tar and Evie's cooking. Hello guys. What? So we're talking about the Tenno One right now and we're having huge discussions about this. Oh my god, good luck. Well, what about me? Can I what about that? me? I was planning to get uh, an Azan. Yeah. Okay, and we are so ready for this. Yay, we're so hyped. No, we aren't. We <laughs> working. And people who've done all their work before. <laughs> and people who are never going to do their work. I'm just standing here. <laughs> 
Well, I did all those tests in like at 12. So, this is the preparation theme for the from London one. And then another camera, amazing. Right now, I got dressed and I'm ready for the Ramadan Tenno one. So, let's go! At Maghrib, which is at sunset, which is what we will be doing with all the youths today. So, even though they're following the same beliefs and the same rituals, there are a lot of interesting regional differences. It's definitely rose and not rose. It's good. It really is good. Ida, what do you think of the two drinks? I like the lemon one more. Tanya, thoughts? I've tried only rose one. Thoughts on 1001 <laughs> food? I love it. This is amazing. I absolutely love the samosas. And this has also inspired me to join some of my closest friends and try Ramadan myself. So. Yes, uh, and I am back from the Ramadan 1001 and uh, we had so much fun during the 1001 just felt super nostalgic now I have uh, to start my assignment <laughs> which was due three days ago so this is my dinner see. tonight and it involves food and a cuisine that's a mix of American, English, Japanese, Indian and Korean and then this is my dessert which is sliced apple with a bit of whipped cream made into a sandwich and it's the best thing since sliced bread because instead of sliced bread, it's sliced apple. Brilliant. So I love dancing a lot and I, I dance a lot to like dance, I don't say dance, I dance. <laughs> I dance a lot to Afro beats. Um, this was more K-pop so like very sultry, very sexy, very cool, and it was a lot more difficult for me. But like just like moving my body and just like being around other people and really, really good music was like. <laughs> so the kitchen was dirty, and um, the people who were supposed to clean it didn't, and so this big chonky team of people all came out and decided to help there's people picking up the trash there's uh people sorting the trash there's people doing the dishes when i'm asking about what makes a good community i think the only proper answer is who helps when someone asks and on this day when nobody cleaned the kitchen then the whole floor banded together and cleaned the whole kitchen. And that's how I define a good community. I feel like Seoul, Seoul makes me realize how small I am. There's so much I haven't explored and so many different people that I haven't talked to and have a difficult time talking to. There's a whole 10 million worlds of experiences that you can have in Seoul. And I can only have mine. And that's a little bit sad. But then as you're just like walking around, it's like everybody's minding their own business. And at first I was a bit scared by that. Oh, like nobody is like, like smiling at me underneath their mask. <laughs> um, but then I was like, oh, it's actually like a really beautiful thing because they are like, people are doing what they want to do. And if you need something, then they will help you. I have lived at home for like all my life, 18 years. The longest time I was away was like two years and I was like having like such home sickness. And this was like a, just a really big challenge to go into the world. Um, and the world has become a lot smaller in a really good way. It's a lot more reachable. The idea of traveling isn't so absurd anymore. And it's not just about touring a place, but actually being a local there and being a resident there and respecting what they have to say and hearing what they have to say rather than just kind of putting your own lens on them. 
because you're not an outsider anymore. You live in them and you become one of them. I was so hesitant before choosing to like join Minerva and I just like took the risk as they say because it was like one shot and I, I would have regretted not taking it all my life. So if you have a chance to just take any other opportunity, not specifically Minerva, just do it um, and do not regret it no matter what. Okay. I got done with everything on my calendar and we did the dinner that one and now I'm staying. Um, an authentic Minervan day. I'm now back. I will do some work and have Sahur, which is like the yeah, late yeah, night. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is how we end the day, eating french fries and urine fried for us. I don't think she fried it for us, she just fried them and we just fried it for us. <laughs> One of my favorite days in this month, even though the month has already just started, but it's gonna become a core memory. <laughs>